okay? All right, now, so now we know what temperature is. It's the jiggles. Uh, and now that we know what temperature scales uh, we, might, we might see, um, how do we figure out what the temperature of an object is from its spectrum? Well, we take the spectrum, we get something that looks like this, or something similar, like one of the ones we talked about last time. Um, but we look, we use two rules when looking at that spectrum to figure out how hot that object is, okay? To figure out the temperature of that object. And these two temperature rules are very important. We're gonna keep using these two temperature rules throughout the rest of the course. Now, luckily, these two temperature rules are actually very common sense. In fact, you probably already know at least one of them, if not both of them. There's something that you intuitively do. We're just being a little bit more uh, particular about it, okay? So here we go. Let's say um, I rushed into the room and said, hey guys, actually, uh, I got these two light bulbs. Okay, so here we go. Boom, boom, boom. I've got these two light bulbs. Bum, bum, bum. And you notice, you notice when you're looking at me that my light bulb over here in this hand is very, very bright. And my light bulb in this hand is very, very dim. And I tell you guys, okay, uh, your test today is to touch one light bulb. You got to touch one of these light bulbs and you'll get a hundred whether you touch it. There's no wrong answer. You can touch either one. Either one's going to get you a hundred. You just got to touch one of these light bulbs. Touch the bright one or touch the dim one. Okay. Which one are you going to touch? Which one are well, most of you guys going to touch? You're going to touch the bright one or the dim one? Yeah. You guys are always going to touch the dim one. Why does nobody want to touch my bright light bulb? Why does nobody want to touch that one? Why won't you touch my bright light bulb? Yeah, you already have an idea. Even if you couldn't feel it, you already kind of knew that that hot, that bright one was probably hot, right? And that's the first thing we look for. That's our first temperature rule, okay? Let me put it into slightly um, more technical terms. I actually wrote this out ahead of time because I'm a slow writer. Here we go. The first temperature rule is basically just saying that hot things are brighter. But I'm gonna be a little bit more technical here. So here we go. First rule of temperatures, get this out of the way. is, here we go, the higher the temperature of the object, the brighter it is at all wavelengths, okay? The higher the temperature of the objects, the brighter it is at all wavelengths. This is something that you understand from a very young age. You probably don't even remember learning that brighter things are hotter. You've just known it for a long, long time, right? You don't go around touching really bright things because they might burn you. Um, the one part you might not have had in your head was this last bit about wavelengths. So this is saying the hotter objects are brighter at every single wavelength. If you've got two objects, the hotter one will always be more intense, no matter what color or wavelength you're looking at. Again, remember, wavelengths are seen as colors in the visible spectrum, okay? Now, um, so, let me bring that up a little bit. If I bring back in this picture of a spectrum, Remember on this graph, we've got the wavelengths along the bottom and we've got the intensity over here. So brighter is higher, right? So if this was the spectrum of an object, according to this rule, 
if we made that object bright, sorry, if we made that object hotter, what would happen to every part of this graph? Okay, if making objects hotter makes them brighter at every wavelength, what would happen to this every part of this graph if we made this object hotter? Yes. Yes. That is correct. That is correct. Every part of it would go up. So the first thing that we're looking at to try to figure out how hot something is, is how tall the graph is. And the easiest place to look to see that is to look right here. Uh, most objects, again, are going to have at least close to a single hill. Even if it's an absorption spectrum and you've got those icicles hanging down, you can still look at how high it is to get an idea of how hot it is. In fact, this right here, this color in the middle, this wavelength in the middle is called the peak wavelength. It's whichever wavelength is the most for that object. That peak will go up if the object gets hotter. So the peak wavelength gets more intense if the object gets hotter. Okay, so that's the first rule of temperatures. Hotter things are brighter no matter what wavelength you're looking at. Let me ask you a quick question. This might look kind of like a test question. Check this out. Let's say I've given you two objects. Okay, actually, let's say I've given you these two objects. Object A and object B. Uh, and let's say I ask, which one of these is going to give off more light with a wavelength of 500 nanometers? Which one would be correct? If I gave you these two objects, A and B, with these two temperatures, which one's going to give off more light at this wavelength? You guys scared? Remember, what's the temperature rule? The temperature rule said that the hotter one will always be brighter at every wavelength. Okay? So, no matter what wavelength I ask you about, the hotter one is always brighter. So this would be B, right? This would be B if that was a test question. Okay, what if I asked you this? What if I gave you the same two objects and I said, which one of these two is giving off more light at a wavelength of 3,000 millimeters? Which one is going to be the answer there? Which one of these two objects would be brighter at that wavelength? Still B, right? It doesn't matter which wavelength I ask. I could ask anything. 2 meters, 30 centimeters. The rule is that the hotter one is always brighter. So that means that the one with a higher temperature will always give off more radiation. It will give off more light. It will give off a brighter light. There's a lot of ways to say it, but the, basically the hot one always wins when it comes to intensity, okay? All right, 